Why are there so many false prophets today? There are many false prophets today because men are listening to men rather than standing boldly for God's word. They are more willing to hear progressive liberal theologians rather than listening to God Almighty himself. And when we're born again and have believed Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and repented of our sins, we have the Holy Spirit. And many people are professing Christ, but they do not possess Christ. And we know that it is only when we have the Spirit of God living inside us that we have the seal for the day of redemption. We are sealed into the faith. We have a promised hope of heaven and eternity. But there are many religious Christians, many Christians who even know about God instead of knowing God directly. We can know about things without knowing that actual thing. We can know who the current pre president of the United States is without actually knowing who they are, uh, you know, what, what their hobbies are, what they enjoy, what their fears are. We can know about things without actually knowing that very thing. And so there are many false prophets today. Uh, as, as we were warned uh, from scriptures, you know, as the times go on, many are going to depart from the faith. Uh, many, there are many wolves in sheep's clothing. There always has been, but it becomes more rampant by the day because, again, men are trying to build up men using God's word and Christ as a footstool and as a means to their own end rather than building men up in the faith to preach the word of God boldly and unashamedly, sharing, as Ephesians 2.8, I believe, says, sharing truth in love. False prophets they don't care about the souls of men. They care more about the feelings of men. They, they don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. They don't want to step on any toes. They want the money to continue to come in. They want to secure their reputation. Uh, they love the limelight and the, and the stage and the way in which people just flock to them. People say, oh, that was such a good message. But we aren't concerned about good messages. We're concerned about the souls of men. And those who preach boldly from the pulpits are those who care more about the soul of man than the feelings of man. I know when I was reborn, uh, not just living a confessing faith, but a repentant faith, I was convicted. I was brought to my knees. There were many nights of weeping and tears, but I continued to seek after that conviction because I knew that that conviction was going to help lead me to higher ground if I responded appropriately because it's the Holy Ghost who convicts us, but we have freedom of the will to either listen, to turn from our wicked ways, or to continue in our ways and say, thanks God, but no thanks. And so may we be those who just stand strong and may we be those who help others to be able to discern false prophets. Uh, I've written a book, Unraveling Deception, Discerning Darkness. It's on Amazon. You can get it. It lays out many different types of false doctrines, many types of false gospels. How to discern, not judge, but discern Christians who are Christian in name only, who, who go with the way of the world, who, who claim they know Christ but are unwilling to lay down sin, who, who claim they love God but are unwilling to obey God. And we know from John 14, 15 that Christ said, if any man loves me uh, or those who love me will keep my commandments. And that is so true. And there are many false prophets and and fake converts out there. There are many people who claim to be Christian who are not actually saved because, again, we know the validation of those who are truly saved. They are those who have the Holy Spirit. So those are some of the reasons why false prophets are so rampant today is, uh, you know, we were warned that as time goes on, there's going to be an increase. False prophets are training false prophets. Uh, there are many men who want to use the word of God is a means to their own end. They don't care about souls of men. They, they love just what Christianity can do as a profession for them rather than understanding that true preaching is a passion. It is a desire for God's spirit to move, to speak boldly the things of God, to stand boldly on the word of God, and to speak what is truthful, edifying, and builds up and reproves because that is, the, is what the word of God is meant for. We know that from 2 Timothy. And God desires to do a miraculous thing. And may we just be those who are willing to discern false prophets and then willing to expose them as well. Uh, because we don't want other people whom we love to sit under false teaching that is ultimately not the full truth and is leading people to hell.